Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge, kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? I mean, my student, we have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure, and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes, and no. He dreamed, and still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. We must be strong, we must be brave, and we must find the courage to face those we once called our enemies and now instead call them friends. The Crusaders come to Jerusalem bringing with them an opportunity to end the fighting, to stop the war. If we may stand as one, we must not turn them away. You speak of peace, but your words are hollow. No, I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am? Then you are also a liar and a fraud, just like your master. 
Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. But this is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. Did you see them? No, but I've heard the whispers. Is it true? Crusader knights in Jerusalem? It is. And? Different from the others. Finely dressed and bearing expensive gifts. <sighs> we should relieve them of this burden. They've made <laughs> camp near David's citadel, close to the cemetery. To attend the funeral? So it seems. Then let us visit their camp while they pay their respects. Take the map I've given you and see that the guards are placed accordingly. We'll be safe enough during the procession. It's the burial that worries me. Easy for our enemies to hide amongst the crowd. If you're so concerned, why not post your own men? Search the site yourselves. Our presence here has caused enough chaos. I can only imagine how the people would react seeing Crusader soldiers marching across their holy ground. Then perhaps you should not attend at all. He was our friend and brother and we will honor him as he passes from this world. You insult me by suggesting otherwise. I'll post the men. I don't want trouble either. Then stop trying to make it and do as you've been asked. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. I won't give him the chance to continue his campaign. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together. United by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. It's been a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. Then tell me. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake, we are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al-Mu'allam told me. So what is your plan? I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. No. You don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Perhaps if I had not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. 
Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair. That you might be ready for what lies ahead. We gather here to mourn the loss of our beloved Majd din Taken too soon from this world. I know you feel sorrow and pain at his passing, but you should not. For just as we are all brought forth from the womb, so too must we all one day pass from this world. It is only natural, like the rising and the setting of the sun. Take this moment to reflect on his life and give thanks for all the good he did. Know that one day you will stand with him again in paradise. As you know, this man was murdered. We have tried to track his killer, but it has proved difficult. These creatures cling to the shadows and run from any who would face them fairly. But not today, for it seems one stands among us. He mocks us with his presence and must be made to pay. Seize him! Bring him forward that God's justice might be done! <laughs> I would see your eyes before you die. I sense you expected someone else. What sorcery is this? No sorcery. We knew you'd come. Robert needed to be sure he'd have time to get away. So he flees. We cannot deny your success. You have laid waste to our plans. First the treasure, then our men. Control of the Holy Land slipped away. But then he saw an opportunity. To reclaim what has been stolen. To turn your victories to our advantage. Al Muallim still holds your treasure, and we've routed your army before. Whatever Robert plans, he'll fail again. Ah, but it's not just Templars you'll contend with now. Speak sense. Robert rides for Arsa to plead his case that Saracen and Crusader unite against the Assassins. That will never happen. They have no reason to. Had, perhaps. But now you've given them one. Nine, in fact. The bodies you've left behind, victims on both sides. You've made the Assassins an enemy in common and ensured the annihilation of your entire order. Well done. Not nine. Eight. What do you mean? You are not my target. I will not take your life. You're free to go, but do not follow me. I don't need to. You're already too late. We'll see. It was a trap. I had heard the funeral turned to chaos. What happened? Robert de Sable was never here. He sent another in his stead. He was expecting me. You must go to Al Mualim. There's no time. She told me where he's gone, what he plans. If I return to Masyaf, he might succeed. 
And then, I fear we'll be destroyed. We have killed most of his men. He cannot hope to mount a proper attack. Wait, did you say she? Yes, it was a woman. Strange, I know. But that's for another time. For now, we must focus on Robert. We may have thinned his ranks, but the man is clever. He goes to plead his case to Richard and Salah Hadin, to unite them against the common enemy. Against us. Surely you're mistaken. This makes no sense. These two men would never... Oh, but they would. And we have ourselves to blame. The men I've killed. Men on both sides of the conflict. Men important to both leaders. Robert's plan may be ambitious, but it makes sense. And it could work. Look, brother. Things have changed. You must return to Masyaf. We cannot act without our master's permission. It could compromise the Brotherhood. I thought... I thought you had learned this. Stop hiding behind words, Malik. You wield the Creed and its tenants like some shield. He's keeping things from us. Important things. You were the one told me we could never know anything, only suspect. Well, I suspect this business with the Templars goes deeper. When I'm done with Robert, I will write from Asyaf that we may have answers. But perhaps you could go now. I cannot leave the city. Then walk amongst its people. Seek out those who served the ones I slew. Learn what you can. You call yourself perceptive. Perhaps you'll see something I could not. I don't know. I must think on this. Do as you must, my friend. But it's time I ride for Arsuf. Every moment I delay, our enemy gets one step ahead of me. Be careful, brother. I will be. I promise. <laughs>